morning everybody, I'm Luisa Armone and make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for your chance to win some giveaways. Enjoy! Alright, now if you follow me, we are about to enter into the brightest area of the entire apartment, which is the kitchen slash dining room. And for this, I enlisted the help of the beautiful and talented Miss Gazelle Monet. Um, I felt like the home was missing a feminine touch, like this is a very masculine and man cave feeling type apartment. So I thought it'd be a great idea to get Miss Gazelle Monet to come out here and just help us um, spice the place up a little bit. So she came all the way up from Syracuse, New York to help me finish the project and she did an amazing job and I'll let her take it away from here. Hello everyone, my name is Gazelle Monet and welcome to my dining area curation. I was really excited to do this project because eating and nature are two of my very favorite things. So I wanted this display to embody how I feel when I'm eating and when I'm out in nature, which is typically warm and happy. So I went with warm autumn colors and leaves to embody that refreshing feeling. And I chose tropical colors and plants to embody happiness. And if you look behind the mirror, you can see that the sunflowers are very subtly lit and that was inspired by our sun, which is our main source of food and energy. And I thought that inspiration was really important to include in this display since it is a dining area. And if you look really closely, I meticulously put black and orange monarch butterflies all throughout the display to make it look like they're kind of fluttering around as well as tropical birds and finches that are sort of just hidden throughout the display as well and that really livens everything up and moving on to the seating area we decided to go with velvet pillows and it adds a nice luxurious contrast against the leather seats and for the dining table, I wanted to keep it really simple so it wouldn't distract you so much from the main display. So I went with black plates and black silverware and underneath the black plating are these gray toned wooden platters. And for the centerpiece, we have this black rusted cage candle set and there's gold on the inside so when the candles are lit, it lets off this really nice golden hue that kind of reminds me of sun rays, which I think resonates well with the sunflowers and the kitchen. All together, I think this display is a nice feminine touch to the apartment and I was really happy to work on it. All right, thank you, Miss Gazelle Monet. And um, so, what inspired this was uh, whenever my family would eat at restaurants, um, we would always typically choose to sit in the dining room. So I wanted to bring that intimate atmosphere into my apartment. Um, so this is set up to mimic a dining booth at a restaurant. And it's kind of like in a box, but it's kind of not because I have these, um, instead of putting up an actual wall, I put up these wooden panels just to you know, help separate the space from the rest of the apartment, but at the same time, you're able to see through it. So it's kind of separate, but not. I also put up this square LED light just to make it feel more like a separate box that you're sitting in. And if you follow me over here, um, I have some more faux plants that I have up here just to add an element of nature into the apartment. Um, I think I bought these from Ikea and I also bought the faux plants from Ikea. And right above this is a DIY shelving set that I made. Um, I got the wood from Home Depot and I basically stained it the same color as the wood that I got from Ikea just to keep it cohesive. And I like to keep my sparkling cider up here. I'm not much of a drinker, so you know, um, instead of drinking alcohol, I drink sparkling cider. <laughs> and uh, right behind me is another full mirror that I use to help add more light into the apartment. It bounces light that's directly across from the main source of light in the living room, which is the balcony windows. Um, I got this from Ikea as well. Um, above this is another LED light. Um, this could change brightness. And over here is my kitchen, which is the brightest space in the entire apartment. Um, I wanted to add a nice contrasting element of design to the rest of the black walls in the apartment. So. 
I thought it'd be great to add a nice warm sunlight looking yellow into the kitchen. Um, I painted the walls yellow as well as the ceiling. So if you go back there, it looks like a bright box <laughs> just sitting in the apartment. I put some black contact paper on the counters up here and then I put some yellow contact paper on the counters below just to match the walls and the ceiling of the, um, the kitchen. Right here are some snake plants I got from Home Depot and right here is some more faux grass that I got from Ikea. Um, this goes along with the theme of the apartment of growth and prosperity. And um, what's cool about these plants is that they actually add oxygen into the home so it uh, provides us with nice fresh air. And over here is my um, laundry room. Here's my fridge, not much in here, pretty boring. We kind of live like a, a bachelor lifestyle, so a lot of frozen fruits and fruits and stuff. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Stay tuned for the rest of the apartment tour. And as a token of our appreciation, we'll be having some giveaways for all of our subscribers. You're gonna wanna comment light beam to win a light beam. Comment grass wall to win a grass wall. Comment blackboard to win a blackboard. Comment neon if you would like a custom neon sign. Comment flower portrait to win a custom 3D flower portrait designed by me. And lastly, comment IKEA x Jaja Banks for your chance to win a bundle of all of the giveaways. The winners will be announced during my final apartment tour video. And to all of my subscribers, old and new, thank you for the love and support and stay tuned for more videos. I am out.